Welcome, everybody. Good morning. My name is Zaina. I'm taking you through our last day of our journey through the body this week. And today we're going to focus on the foot and ankle, which is one of my favorite areas to focus on. And if you have little balls or squishy balls, that would be great. If you don't, maybe just grab a hand towel and we can do it with that for today. And a TheraBand would be great for class today. So why foot and ankle? I really believe that the foot has a lot to do with how we carry our bodies and our posture. It's going to change how we walk if something's going wrong with your feet. And that travels up your chain and really changes the whole, your whole posture and everything about how functional you are with your body. So it's a really important part. Pilates has a lot to offer in terms of feet, whether it's on the mat or on the reformer is actually a great place to work on your feet. We also, Joe Pilates originally actually also built a foot corrector machine, which we have here at the studio. It's just a little machine just to work your feet. And he even has something called the Joe's Toe Gizmo, which is uh, to help you with that big toe alignment, which we all know can start to cause problems if the if somebody has one. That's great. <laughs> with, that can start to cause problems if our big toes start to go sideways then we end up with bunion problems and things like that. So to start off, I actually didn't mention, um, so the balls, a TheraBand, if you've got your roller nearby too, that would be great. We'll warm up with a little bit of quote unquote footwork with our roller. So let's start on the mat with your roller. Keep your balls and TheraBand handy. There's so much to cover. I'll try to move at a decent clip, but not overwhelm you here. So, since most of us don't have rollers, uh, excuse me, reformers at home, we can mimic a lot of the foot action in a little bit different way, but here with the foam roller. So what I'm doing is laying down here, just settle for a moment. Let your body and back settle down. Take a breath in, exhale. So then I, want to put my feet on the roller, my tippy toes on, and find a little V turnout. So heels slightly together, a little V with my toes out, heels together. Good. Knees just falling apart a little bit, and slowly roll the roller out. And just bring it back in. When you bring it back in, you want to rise up on the tippy, tippy toes, and let the legs roll away and slide them in, coming all the way up onto the tippiest parts of your toes. And down, and rolling up, heels together, toes apart, and down, and rolling up, lifting, and down, rolling up, lifting. My feet were not feeling so coordinated this morning. I had to look and make sure that they were doing what I thought and rolling up, toes together, toes apart, heels together. One more time, down, and rolling up. Good, bring your feet and knees together on this tippy tippy toes again, and rolling down, and bringing it back up, toe, heels lift, tippy toes on, down, and rolling up, down, and rolling up down and rolling up picking really so work at the end here coming up is really the most important part of this exercise so really thinking about lifting those heels getting the very tips of your toes onto the roller only and up good one more time down and up good hold there one leg goes up to the sky if you need to adjust where that roller position is that's fine it's tabletop and then rolling out and bring it back and rolling out and bring it back. Rolling away and bring it in. Rolling away, bring it in. Rolling away and bring it in. Rolling away, still working through that foot as you come up, the heels lifting out nice pointed feet both and in and out and in switching sides 
Here we go. Uh, free leg and tabletop going out and in, 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 out, in one more, and out and in. Nicely done. Good. So let's take your feet together on the roller here. Rolling up through your hips. So here I want to be more on the heels. So a little more heel connection, little flexed foot. Take a breath in, rolling up through the tailbone, curling in. Here we're, we, we're gonna let the legs go out a little bit and come back, kind of like our bottom lift, but rolling through those feet. Out, over the heel tips, pulling it back. Out, over the heel tips, pull it back. Out, over the heel tips, pulling back. Nice strong flexed feet here, out and back, out and back. Out and back and out and back. Nice. And then roll your way down through your spine. Beautiful. Okay. So here, take your TheraBand and you can say it lying down for now. Open it up wide so that you've got the fat, you're going to keep it as a fat band. And place one foot inside of it. So covering up the toes as well. And here, take the leg out, hold it there. Push the foot away so the toes are pointing and then flex the feet, foot. Push away, pointed toes and flex it back. So push the foot, push the toes, flex the toes, flex the foot. Push the foot, push the toes, all the way, flex everything back. Push the foot, push the toes, flex everything back. Push and flex and push and flex. Push and flex, push and flex, one more. Push and flex. Hold there. Circle the foot around with it against the band, really trying to get each area, each direction really exaggerated. So, but in control. I'm going out, pointing, coming in, releasing. Push around, trying to do that just with my foot and ankle, and then reverse. And you're not trying to stretch here, you're trying to keep control of every direction of that motion. Press circling, press circling, press circling, press circling. Good, switch sides. So the wide part of the band, get the toes also in the band there. And press the leg out, push the toes, and flex. So foot and toes point, flex toes, flex foot. Push and point, flex and flex. Push and point, flex and flex. Push and point, Flex, flex, push, point, flex, flex, push, point, flex, flex. Should feel like a good amount of work here. Our toes aren't used to working so hard. Push, point, but it's so good to strengthen the bottom of the foot. So what's so exciting about the foot is that it actually has four layers of muscles on the bottom of the foot. 
we were designed that way so that we could hold ourselves up structurally. But then we wear shoes all the time now. And so our feet don't get as strong as they once were, I think. Flex, flex, and point. Now circling, nice and steady. So not fast, really controlled in all the directions of the circle. Circling and circling. And then we're, you want to reverse the direction. Circle, circle, good, nice and controlled. So I think if we strengthen the feet, we can prevent a lot of problems, not just foot problems, but problems up the chain, the knees, the hips. And those lead to issues with low back. So really, if we work on the feet as part of our everyday practice, I think we can be really preventative for other injuries that might otherwise occur. Good, bring that foot back in. All right, so come up to sitting. And for these exercises, you can sit or stand or sit up in a chair is actually a little bit easier usually than sitting on the floor for these. Grab your little balls, and if you don't have the little balls, like I said, grab a towel, a little hand towel. And what you want to do is put the ball right at the tippy toes. So I'm placing the ball right under the tips of my toes. And then I have long monkey toes, so I'm really good at demonstrating this particular one. I will hug the ball with my toes and then release. So I'm trying to spread my toes out over the ball and then squeeze it in and then release as if I was trying to pick it up off the floor. In fact, we once did this competition of dropping a coin on the floor and seeing who could pick it up with their toes. Have you ever done that? It's really hard unless you have monkey toes. So you're going to squeeze and squeeze, just trying to pick up that ball, curling the toes over it. You can do this with a towel, so trying to pick up the towel. Picking up, picking up, picking up, and picking up. Nice. Then slide the ball down so that it's just under the metatarsals here. And then same thing, I'm curling over, but now it would be like you're trying to pick up the ball with your whole foot or your whole hand, not just your fingers. So dropping the foot over, wrapping around the ball. So with this, with a towel here, you would just roll it up and put it underneath there and do the same, pulling and pulling and pulling, good, pulling, pulling, and pulling. Nice. So then go ahead and take the ball away. Those are my two favorites with the ball. We'll do the other foot in just a moment. Here, just rest your foot on the floor. What you, what you should try and do here is lift up all the toes off the floor, your big toe all the way across to your pinky toe, lifting up and let the toes spread up and open. And what I want you to notice is that when you lift all those toes, your foot itself shortens a bit and the arch picks up in your foot. So hopefully you can see that arch really picking up there. And that's what we're after with this toe lifting exercise. Right, so really working, holding it up there to feel the work of the arch lifting. And hold those toes up there. And hold. And hold them up. Good, and lift. And lift. Good, now feel that lift. Keep the lift happening, keep the toes up. But now try and lower the toes without losing that arch. So just setting the toes gently back down. Don't lose the arch in your foot. Right, pick up again, see if, see if you can get a little more and then lower the toes without losing the arch in the foot. And then once you've got that, then what you can try and do is pull your big toe ball back towards your heel without lifting the toes. That's picking up your arch just from inside the foot without the toes without pushing in the ground either. So I'm just trying to squeeze through my foot and release. Squeeze through my foot 
If that is too hard right now, squeeze to get that arch to lift up and squeeze. If that's too hard now, you keep working on the toes lifting and then eventually the toes lifting with them lowering and eventually you'll find that squeeze without the toes lifting. And that's really working those intrinsic muscles inside the foot. Good. And one other here that I'm really not very good at myself, and it's hard to see, you lift up the toes a little bit and try and abduct your big toe, meaning you're trying to move your big toe out like we would with our big, with our thumb. Right. So it will come up a little bit and try and open out, up and open out. We actually have a muscle dedicated just to that motion in our feet. And sadly, we don't exercise the use of it. So we don't get much motion here. And some of us get almost none. Opening, good. Opening, and one more. Lifting, opening, great. Let's go to the other foot. So at the ball at your toes, squeezing with your toes, and squeezing with your toes, squeezing with your toes, squeezing. Good, squeezing and squeezing, squeezing and squeezing. Nice, and move the ball towards the metatarsals so your foot's over it, doming over, so grabbing with the whole foot and grabbing. And like I said, you can do these in seated on a chair, you can do them standing up, you could do both feet at the same time if you're coordinated that way. You could do this in your shoes with the little toe curls in your shoes. You can do the toe lifts with your shoes on. So there's no excuse to not work on your feet when you're out and about. So this is another one of those exercises that you can use in the grocery store. Line up while nobody knows you're doing it. You can sneakily be strengthening your feet. Good. One more time. Nice. Then drop, take the ball away. Let the toes lift up and relax. Lift up. If you have trouble getting those toes up the first times, maybe just helping them along the way and seeing what you can get out of the arch of your foot there. And lifting and lifting and lifting. And then if you can, try doing it without the lift. Try sliding the big toe ball back towards the heel Lifting that arch and release, lift that arch and release, lift the arch and release, lift the arch, release, lift, release and lift. Good, holding there, see if you can bring the toe out like our thumb going out in opposition, abducting that toe. There we go, sometimes it takes a while for your brain to even know how to do that. Good. This is also a great exercise to play with if you ever sit down and watch a movie at night. See what you can do. Great. And then relax. All right. So I want to get you up to standing for the last little exercises. Take one of your balls with you. If not, take the rolled up towel with you if you don't have a ball. Place the ball between your heels. So that you feel, you bring your feet close enough so that you feel a little pressure. I'll try and turn so you can see what I'm doing here. The rest of my feet are lined up just in front of that ball. Standing here, I want to introduce a bigger concept that, that you'll have to come back to do more of because it's such a big concept. But with the ball there, without planting, plant your feet, without moving your feet, see if you can squeeze that ball and see that you lift your arches when you squeeze that ball. So there's this little spiral in your feet that actually goes up through your legs into your glutes without letting your feet slide open. Just squeeze the ball and that should help lift up the arch. Yes, and relax and squeeze. And my feet are not turning out, right? Just squeezing the ball. And release, squeeze. And release and take a peek down, see if those arches can lift. If your feet are flattening when you squeeze the ball, you're going from the wrong place. So that I want you to really think about the heels coming around, not the inside of the foot trying to squeeze the ball, right? Just those heels. And release 
and squeeze. Good. Keep holding on to that ball. See if you can go up and down. Spread out those toes going up and down. Keep pressure on that ball. That will really help align your feet, your ankles. And up and down. Up and down. And up. Down. Up and down and up and down. Great, so that exercise you could also do when you're out and about all throughout your day. All right, that went by so quickly, but hopefully you have a few little tools, keys that you can use to help you keep those feet strong. Remember, you can do a lot of these exercises while you have your shoes on. So curling to lifting, you can do calf raises with your shoes on, just trying to keep that alignment. And then you have a little footwork to do at home now and some work for that foot, ankle, toe pressure into the band. All things that you could incorporate a couple times a week at home. So thank you guys. This is the last day of our client appreciation week, half hours. All right, everybody, thank you so, so very much. Stay strong. We'll see you soon.